वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट प्रेशर डाई कास्टिंग प्रोसेस एंड इन डिटेल्स विथ अ कोल्ड चैम्बर डाई कास्टिंग प्रोसेस सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ द इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट प्रेशर डाई कास्टिंग्स सो बेसिकली इन केस ऑफ द प्रेशर डाई कास्टिंग्स ऑफन कॉल एज अ डाई कास्टिंग प्रोसेस so in which the molten form of the metal which will be injected into a die under a high pressure so the pressure is going to be used for injecting a molten form of the metals into a die so basically in the case of the die castings we are using permanent die so basically that will be made with a steels or some alloying elements so the metal being cast must have a low melting points than the die materials so which is usually made from steels or other alloys then the process is best suitable for castings of non ferrous materials although a few ferrous materials can be also cast with the help of pressure die casting process so basically the two methods of the die castings including with a hot chamber die casting process that i already explained in my previous videos so you should refer that and second one that will be the cold chamber die casting process so in this video i would like to explaining in details about a cold chamber die casting process so let us start with a cold chamber die casting process so just you can see the figure so starting with a uh, mechanisms so this is a pressure die casting process so just you can see this pressure it will be exerting with the help of hydraulic cylinder so this hydraulic cylinder which will be connected with a plunger rod and just you can see this is our ladle so basically in the case of a cold chamber die casting process the heating of the molten form of the metal that will be separate out so just you can take a molten form of the metal with the help of ladle so that will be into a short sleeves so just you can see this is our way and after that it will be having a plunger rod so just you can see in case of the cold chamber die casting process we are using a permanent die and which is made with the metallic materials so this die it will be dividing into two halves so basically this is our stationary pattern or you can say stationary half and another one that will be our movable so in the case of the movable pattern or you can say movable die it will be in built facility of the injector pins or you can say injector die half and this is our injector box so after the filling of the molten form of the matter with the help of this ladder just you can exerting the pressure with a hydraulic cylinder then this molten form of the matter it will be traveling through this and it will be filled the cavity so basically this cavity that will be as per my requirement of the shape and size so you should also use the some kind of animated view just you can see over here for better understandings of our cold chamber die casting process then in case of hot chamber process the charging unit or you can say gooseneck rest into the melting chamber whereas in case of the cold chamber the melting chamber is separate and the molten matter is charged into the machine by means of the ladles so that is the basic difference between hot chamber die casting process and cold chamber die casting process in case of the cold chamber process is employed for casting materials that are not possible by a hot chamber processes for example just you can see in case of the aluminum alloys reacts with a steel structure of the hot chamber machines and as a result there is a considerable iron pick up by aluminum so this does not happens in the case of the cold chamber process as the molten metal has a momentarily contact with the surface of the machines so in case of the cold chamber die casting process as you can see 
द मशीन कंजिस्ट ऑफ ए डाई मेड इन टू द टू हाफ वन हाफ इज फिक्स एंड अनदर दैट विल बी मूवेबल सो दैट वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस एंड जस्ट यू कैन ऑल्सो सी इन टू द एनिमेटेड व्यू ऑफ द कोल्ड चैम्बर डाई कास्टिंग प्रोसेस The dies are aligned in positions by means of ejector pins, which also helps to eject the solidified castings from the dies. In the cold chamber die casting process, the steps involving so basically a cylindrical shaped chamber called as a cold chamber, so that will be fitted with a freely moving pistons and is operated by means of a hydraulic. pressure so that we already discussing this is our hydraulic systems and that will be connected with a plunger roll and which is connected with a cold chamber so this is our cold chamber so a measured quantity of the molten metal is poured into the cold chamber by means of the ladders so basically that metals it will be pouring over here that will be depends upon my shape and size of that particular components so as from requirements of that particular required materials such materials it will be only just you can put into this ladder that's why it will be making a sound casting kind of components so the plunger of the pistons is activated and the process is rapidly forcing the molten metal into the die cavity the pressure is maintaining during the solidification process So after the metal cools and solidified the plunger moves backward and the movable die halves opens by the means of the ejector pins that will be forcing the castings from the die cavity In case of the cold chamber process is slightly slower than compared to the hot chamber process So some of the advantages of cold chamber die casting process so process is economical for large production quantities good dimensional accuracy and surface finish thin sections can be easily cast near nat shape can be achieved some of the disadvantages high cost of the dies and equipments not economical for small production quantities process not preferable for ferrous metals part geometry must allow easy removal from die cavity i hope you understand this if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching